Yes, people, viewers, subscribers, what's up, everyone? Thank you for watching Dark Souls. Your boy Cam, Killer Cam, Kaminosuke, as some like to call me. I'm kidding, guys. What's up? It's your boy, and I'm happy you guys told me to play Dark Souls because I've gotten hundreds of requests to play this after Demon Souls, and I agree with you all. This game needs to be played by your boy, truly the best. I'm kidding about that, guys. You know I like to sound cocky or overconfident at times. It's just for fun, all right? But here I am trying to make Kaminosuke the second, all right? This is uh, the baby from Kaminosuke and the girl that gave you level ups and stuff. I forgot homegirl's name, but you know who I'm talking about. The girl who hooks you up with all the level ups and blah, 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 blah. This is the baby right here, all right? Dark Souls Prepare to Die Edition. Let's do it. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire, came disparity, heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Nito, the first of the day. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight, and his faithful knights, and the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Wind's mighty gods ruled upon their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scales betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. But soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless lights. And amongst the living are seen carriers of the accursed dark side. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead.
And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. So first things first, I know you guys are probably wondering why my character is wearing a red coat. Well, I have a buddy of mine who hooked me up with all these mods that you can get in the PC version, which is so awesome. So there's even mods in here that I have no clue that I have. Um, but I can tell you right now that this Wanderer coat is never red. It's usually brown, but I think it looks cooler in red. So yes. I had to take the helmet off. You know, Kaminosuke never wears helmets, so just like his father, he had to do the same thing. Gotta represent. Anyway, we're getting past this big, gigantic door, which is way too big. I'm gonna go ahead and skip past this. Those of you who played this game, you know big, giant demons gonna fall down. Those of you who haven't, just know you cannot win that fight. Well, you can, but it'll take forever. I mean, we will all be about 300 years old by the time it finishes. There's no point in trying to show that to you guys. Now watch this right here. I'm gonna run up and show you the strongest punch in the world. Stronger than Falcon Punch. Ugh! Yo, oh! Who do you know that can punch you in the back and blood just starts popping out out of nowhere? Like some Kool-Aid. Anyway, get serious. Bring out the Scimitar. Scimitar, Scimitar, Scimitar. However you say the name, you guys know I don't. I'm just a scrub at this game. I'm garbage. You know, you guys are the best. But pretty soon we're about to see the guy who gave me the key in about five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I were both undead. Hear me out, will you? Regrettably, I have failed in my mission, but perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family, Thou who art undead art chosen, and thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know, and I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask, an undead favorite. Oh, and this. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Now guys, he's gonna die. Watch, here, really closely. You hear that little whoosh? Yes, our best friends died. You know, I really like that guy, but I feel bad for him. Um, regardless, if I would've killed him, or if I would've talked to him, I had to get the items, the Estus flask and the second floor thingy to get up here, second floor key, I'm sorry. And that's just that. You know, it had to be done. But those of you who have played this game already know what's up with that guy. Um, we might be able to see him later on. Oh. Anyway, let's get to the fog gates. You know, these were in Demon Souls. And it's time to get Sidious. Plunging attack. I'll let you know. 313. Yes. Now, I never get hit by this guy because I'm just that good. I dodge those. Okay. I dodge those, okay? I dodge those, okay? 
Say it one more time, Kevin. I dodged those. Yes. Anyway, this is what we do, man. We came here to play Dark Souls, dog. This is the end of the tutorial. You defeated. I know that. And you guys watching, you defeated also, okay? I'm going to show you guys this game is a piece of cake. However, however, this is the disclaimer right here. Um, all the new DLC, I have no clue what is to expect. So I might get raped. And um, shout outs to the slowdown right here. This is because of iTunes. Yes, shout out to iTunes. Liking my game. Those of you who are in my stream when I was playing uh, Sleeping Dogs and it kept crashing my game, you already know what's up. Anyway, iTunes hates me. I need to uninstall it. Why do I have it on here again? I have no clue. Anyway, go down there to get a soul, Lost of Undead. That'll hook you up like 200 souls, I think. It's one of the weaker items in the game, but in the beginning, it'll help you out a bunch. Only in the ancient legends it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords Lordran So yeah, we're back here in the main game, all right? No more tutorial. We are here. That guy right there in the original version, he never dropped three humanities. So that was new to me right here. I, I said, you know what? F it. Let me just use them all because as of my knowledge, I am not a Dark Souls uh, know-it-all. But as of what I know, the more humanity you have, the higher drop rate of enemies. Um, so like if I kill a guy, he'll drop a rare item likely you know what I'm saying stuff like that that's from what I know I revived to human because um, I look cooler that way all right anyway so if there's any slowdowns is because of there's background things like iTunes going on which I need to uninstall because I do not have an iPhone anymore shout out to Joyce um, anyway guys back to the game but right here um, I want to tell you guys this is me doing post commentary right now the reason why is because when I played through this, I lost my original track that had my voiceover with reactions and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like how I usually do, how all my game plays are. However, if you guys like Dark Souls with this post commentary, I am willing to do it like this. If you guys like me talking like this over the game, and oh my god, that boy just got it. I will do it like this from now on. So whatever you guys say, um, if I get more like thumbs up, like yo, this is better. Or more thumbs down, yo, this sucks. I want more of your original stuff. You know, I'm down to do what you guys want. Anyway, back to the game. Kill this guy, uh, this rat. Always kill him because he just does not deserve to live. I don't know why he's right there, but he just shouldn't be there. Anyway, right now I'm kind of leaning towards a dex build because I want to use katanas like his father. You know, we only use the blades. Uh, and we can actually get one in the beginning of the game. In this game, you know, Demon Souls, I had to wait a little bit. But in this one, I can get one in this very area. I will show you guys soon. I think I'll show you guys here. Um, this is about like a me doing this track a day later from what I played. So this is all new to me, guys. I've never done post commentaries. Or I've done it once on a Dead Space video. But that that's mad old, you know? So I'm going to try to keep it as much informative as I can. And, you know, the whole kill a cam vibe you got, always. You know, I'm trying to do a mix. It's kind of tough, though. This is all new to me. So, give me a chance, all right? If you guys like this, I will continue to do it. Just just know. It's gonna give me, like, two, three videos to really feel comfortable. Because it feels mad weird right now. Uh, I 
No, I go up here to get a humanity, I think. So yes, guys, you need some humanity, which I advise you to do. You want to get as much as you can, at least nine. In the beginning of the game, uh, you will be solid because that is a very high drop rate. For items like Baldur's Shield, Baldur's Side Sword, and uh, certain armors, you know what I'm talking about. However, if you're a new player, you know, I don't suggest you try to build up humanity because most likely you will die and you'll be like, oh, I can block this dragon it's right there and you can just keep running through. Usually he'll knock you back. Now right here, what I like to do is mad and play. I like to kill these guys. Um, right now I'm playing real sloppy. Yo, I'm about to die. This never happens. I'm looking extra weak. So let me ask Madden real quick. What do I do, Madden? What do I do? Do I need to? Okay, he said kill these two. I need to run up the stairs and kill that archer because he is giving me the business. But he told me, wait, get the shield first, the wooden shield. And the wooden shield is much better than the crap that I had originally. So I advise you to get that if any of you started off as a wanderer like myself. And what I didn't know was that this was the Kokiri shield from Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and I think that is awesome. I'm a huge Zelda freak or fan, you name it. I think League is really cool. And to have it in Dark Souls is really tight. That's just me. Some may disagree and say, it doesn't belong in this game, man. You need all the original stuff. Well, you know, I've beaten this game plenty of times. I've never beat the DLC the first time. So you know what, let, let me just tell you right now, if you guys are watching, please tell me, how do I get the DLC? How do I get to the, the areas? Because that way I, I can plan, you know, ahead of time how I can get there. And I don't have to be uh, making videos of me lost and, where do I go, man? I'm lost. I don't like looking on the internet for like, facts and guides. That's just me. Usually I learn most of the stuff through uh, trial and error or ask a friend. I have a friend who's really good at this game, better than me. You know, I'm not the best, um, but I'm the best, okay? And he gave me tons of tips from the beginning just on how to get certain items and, you know, how to get, like, stuff like the dark wood grain ring and, you know, things like that, which I had no clue how you can get before. But uh, if you're new, I am going to be more than happy to walk you through the game. Yeah, guys, right now I'm going to plug myself and say, this is the only time I do it, okay? It's the only time I do this. Only time. Only in the first video. And say, please give a like, a thumbs up, if you enjoy this video. If you do not, give me a thumbs down. That way I can cater to the audience of what they want to see. That's all it is. If it's more thumbs down, then I know, hey, let me take this crap down ASAP. Cause, you know, this might be new to you guys too with the whole bunch of commentary. And wow, I just noticed my blade is red. I am looking so cool right now. This blade is stained with blood of demons that I just slayed. Alright? Who's next? You? Yeah, that's 70 damage. Uh, the Uchi Gatana. Yo, when you say it, you gotta make sure your voice cracks. The Uchi Gatana! Yes! That's how you gotta say it, alright? I'm a huge fan of this weapon. One of my favorite. You guys know I love katanas or uh, katanas. My favorite weapon in this game is the Iato. That is the true samurai weapon to keep it real. You guys will probably see it later. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it because um I'm playing this all in like spurts of time, you know, so I might ask you guys, what do you want to see me use and stuff like that. That way it can be entertaining to the fullest. You guys watching can interact and I will answer. I try to answer you guys' comments and stuff, guys. I'm so sorry if I don't ever get to answer a question directed towards me. It's mainly because of school. Uh, those of you who are new, I am a college student, uh, third year now, and, you know, it gets hectic. It's hard to concentrate and balance tests, midterms, exams, tuitions, blah, 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 all these books, and video games, and YouTube, and just personal hobbies. You know, I like to play the piano, stuff like that. It's hard to balance everything when school's my first priority, because I don't want to fail, 
and then I would not be able to make videos for you guys anymore because I would be homeless yes using the McDonald's Wi-Fi down the street trying to upload and getting errors constantly but no guys that, that's why it takes me a while to upload those of you who already been subscribed or watching since the beginning of time you already know what's up anyway I like to use these black fire bombs on these guys because they are mad at me three of those dudes I hate them the main reason because they just stare at you with their shield up and they like to block but if you circle around them they'll eventually attack now this guy right here is piece of cake if you're scared of him do what I'm doing right now sneak up and get that uh, back snap but I said back snap <laughs> back snap <coughs> excuse me but as you saw I failed however he's still extremely weak just get one back snap and then you can just like, get him in a uh, infinite for you fighting game players fighting game player myself. That's all you gotta do. He can't do anything about this, but just hold these backstabs. And if you kind of lock on and move, it seems like the backstab window gets a little bigger. I don't know what's up with that. It's just, it just works like that. It's kind of weird, the hitboxes in this game, especially Titanite Demons, but just, just see how I'm doing this, alright? Like, you can do it from the side. You see how it's a little bit on the side of the right side? It'll work. Just don't be scared of him. Although he does look mad and intimidating. Right there. It's real easy, guys. I'm gonna need that Black Knight Sword, Kukas, and that Titanite Chunk. 